Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you here to St. Tyrion's Park, Clonus, for this relegation Division 2 battle between Donegal and Louth. The winner stays up in Division 2, the loser goes down to Division 3. That's the situation here today. And as I say, Clonus, where the hill is deserted, not like an Ulster final day at all, the hill is deserted, but on this side we have a fair sprinkling of supporters, mainly, happy to say, from Donegal, here hoping and they should be successful today and say stay up in Division 2 for the 1985-86 league campaign. The Donegal team, just for the record, in goals is Noel McCall, the full back line is Tommy McDermott, Martin Griffin and Corny Carr. The half back line, Donald Reid, Brendan Levy, Martin Shovlin. Middle of the field, the captain, Michael Lafferty and Anthony Malloy. The half forward line, Joyce McMullen, Sylvester McGuire and Michael Gallagher. Full forward line, Martin McHugh, Seamus Boner, Des Newton. The last team showing some changes from the day we played them down in Dundalk. And goals against Jerry Furl, the man who stands out about the 40 yard line, one of the players down on the other side of the field. Full back line, Declan Healy, Matt McDermott, and David Riley. The half back line, Tony McCarraher is in for Noel Carr, wearing number 17. Number 6, Pat Matthews, and number 7, Desi Callaghan. Middle of the field then, one of the strong, one of the best midfielders that Donegal has ever met. Paul Renahan, back after injury, number eight. Pat McConnell, pardon him, number nine. The same midfield that was in Dundalk. Half forward lane on the right, Paul McGee, centre John Martin, on the left, Kevin O'Hanlon. Half of the right, John McDonnell, full forward. Another change, Eugene George is not playing. Noel Healy, wearing number 23, is on his full forward. And top of the left, Jim McDonald. The referee today, John Goff Mantram the man who refereed the Wexford game last Sunday. Beautiful day here in Clonus, pitch good shape, we but we but tough day after the frost, but still in good shape. Right. John Goff, as I say, getting ready now for to get this game underway. Very important game for both teams. After the Louth game, Louth lost heavily to Dublin, where as Donegal beat Wexford and Ballyshannon. Great display by Donegal that day. Completely different game as from the Dundalk game. Let's hope they can perform that type of performance today here in St. Tyrannus Park, Clonus. Much bigger pitch than Ballyshannon, much wider, probably the same length, but much wider. Donegal do usually play well here in Clonus. So let's wish them well. Big day for Brian McEnough. According to the Sun and News this morning, that's make or break for Brian. Let's see how, how he's got his players psyched up for this game. Anthony Malloy then and Michael Lafferty there on the left. Paul Renahan and Pat McConnell there as well. Middle of the field. John Goffman, man refereed the 83 All Ireland final, throws on the ball and the game is on. Punch down, pushed in the back by Michael Lafferty, free for life. Middle of the field. Tighten up, boys, come on. Tony McCarrahan, the sub, short free. Is it, is, it, is it too short? Referee lets it go. Paul Renahan then, high one in. McCall going for it, gets it, blasts it. Oh! High boot there from the, from one of the forwards. Free out then from Noel. Very lucky there for Noel that he got it. The second attempt. So oh, free out from the town end. Brenton, Brenton Needham. Not one to speak yet, too early. Lafferty then. Come on, Desi Callahan does. Desi. Come on, by Corny. Corny gets it across, but it comes to Pat McKinnon. Pat then. Tackled by Michael Gallagher. Side steps, Michael. Gets his kick in. Dangerous one. One of the forwards going for it. Pushing the back, but he gets away. Shoveling. Shoveling and pushes the forward in the back. And it's a penalty. A penalty for Louth. A penalty in the first minute of the game for Louth. Pushing the back by Martin Shoveling from Duncan Neely. Disaster there for poor Martin. Wasn't a wild series offence, but still was a foul, and so was a penalty for Louth. First minute of the game. 
Jim MacDonald from Geraldine's to take it. That's her sharp John Goffers. Noel McCall then. And the goals. Up comes MacDonald with a kick. And that's in the net. That's in the net. One goal. Disaster for Donegal. One goal for Louth. No score for Donegal. Come on, lay it up on there. And now they have something to play for. Seriously, boys, uh, any comment on that penalty? Uh, definitely was a penalty, Sean. No need, no need for no, no need, need to for, comment. No need to tackle at all. No need to tackle. Not at all. Oh. You ball with Brendan Levy then. Come on, boys, get on Brandon. in there. Now in the field comes off the fingers the of David Rayleigh. Comes out to Desi Callahan. Louth. No. Desi overcarries the ball. As I was going to say, there, Louth are settled very quickly. Louth has settled oh, very right quickly in this game. There. But it's a free then. 45 metres out for Donegal and Martin McHugh to take it. Up comes Martin now. Good kick from Martin. Going on. Michael Gellar going for it. Doesn't get it. Seamus Bonner going for it. Desert Newton. Ball goes out of the line. And that's a line ball for Louth. Come on, boys. Take a man each here. Declan Healy then. What's the line ball? Against the sun. Come on, boys! Lois one. And to Martin McHugh. Martin then. Trying to get past his man, number four. He's fouled by David Riley. And a free in then for Donegal. Joyce McMullen will take this one. And it's 46 metres out from the Louth goals. Oh, boys, all the way, man! He's leaving for Martin. One goal to no score. Disaster save Come for. All the way, man, boy. Come on. Donny goal. As Martin takes this one. Ah, well, cut to Curling and Curling to the left. And that's Curling I'm wide. Come on, keep on it, boy. Good effort there, but gone wide. Oh, Come on, right, boy. Get it in there. Nothing short of a waxer performance today is going to see victory. I have a feeling. For Donegal. Come on, Ed White! Force the ball! Jerry Farlin. From the mountains of Cooley Kickhams. Taking this kick out. Good one from Jerry. A middle of the field. Punch down. It comes, however, to Pat Matthews. Pat, number six. Gives his kick in. Comes down out to the bearded Kevin O'Hanlon. Back to John Martin. Ball now. Well played to Noel Healy. Noel punches her out to the honouring number of jo John Martin. Same, the same style of play. Over carrying the ball. But the same style of play as was in Dundalk. Donegal backs not on, sharp Get enough to cover this last fast moving forward lines. Michael Geller then. Under pressure there from the number 17. Tony McCarraher. Kick down. Push in the back, just right. Comes to number seven. Referee blows his whistle. A free then. From the middle of the field. And Joyce McMullen wanna take it. Louth, close marking here from the last team. Powers and backs. Come like. on, forward line. get on there. Dice takes it in. High one. Drop it on. Boner in there. Taps it on. Nobody waiting for it. Comes back to that full back, David Riley. He clears the middle of the field. Anthony Malloy feels it well. Punches it right to Joyce McMullen and Joyce. Ball not running kind from trying to get through. Three three left men around him. Referee still doesn't blow his whistle. And three men around him there and Martin shoveling in. Gets it up. Shovel tackled. And he blows his whistle. And a free out then for Donegal. Number 10, Paul McGee. Fouls Martin. Shoveling. And so free for Duncan Lilly lad. Comes to Michael Lafferty. Pat Conan on him. Pat McConnell. Referee still doesn't blow his whistle. It comes to Sylvester. Sylvester trying to get through. Pat Matthews on him. Just kick in. But it comes to number two. He for late tackle. A late tackle by number six. And John Goff is going to punish his late tackles, which happened at Lindock, which weren't punished. 
Martin McHugh then. 25 metres out. Hopefully, going to open the goal scoring after nine minutes. Yes, he does. A point for Martin. Eight or nine minutes gone in the first half. Only goal, one point. Life, one goal. Kick out then, middle of the field. A leg up for it. It's over the heads of him. Comes back to Shovelin. Shovelin trying to get him. But Dunleavy gets it up. Come on, lads, open her up, open her up. Looking for his man. Low drop kick. Good boy, don't As comes to Ranahan. Ranahan, out to the side of the field. To Jim McDonald. Or, sorry, it's John McDonald. John McDonald. On a solar run. Trying to get past Corny Carr. Corny's with him. Martin Griffin then. Comes right back out again to John McDonald. Passed out from the full forward. High one in. Comes to. One of the backs. A stone. It's one of the backs. I don't remember who it is. Ball cleared it. Come on, lads, and get it in there, will Back in again from Pat McConnell. Dangerous one in. Ball with Dunleavy. Who'd a star game on, and done block. Dunleavy clears the city of the field. There's Newton going for it. Dagan Healy gets it. There's Newton. There's penalised for fouling. Dagan Healy. He can't pull the ball out of his hands. And so is a free kick. On the halfway line, the number 17, Pat Tony McCarran, out back to Tony again. Tony kicks it in. Oh, it goes through the arms of Martin Shovelin. And that's going over the bar. And Martin Shovelin is not having a good game today. Martin is not having a good game today. He's the fun went through his arms into the hands of one of the forwards and he tapped it over the bar. 1 1 then for Louth, 1 point for Donegal, and 10 minutes gone in this first half. Noel McCall then. Kick out. Punched on by Michael Lafferty. Comes to Tony McCarraher. Tony then. Punts it in to the full forward. Noel Healy. He punts it back to Pat McKinnon. Where's Donny Gall? Pat kicks it in. High one. Comes across to Don Levy. Don Levy, sure. Out to the far side. And him alive going for it. Keeps it in play. It doesn't. It's gone out of the line. Dangerous line ball for, for Louth. Quick one then. They're making use of the short kick. High one to the left and gone wide. Ball on the far side then. Comes back to number 12, Kevin O'Hanlon. Kevin then. Come on, Donny Gall, boys. Come on. Come on, you're waking up. Comes to corner. Get it there, will you? Comes to Dez Newton then. Dez. Across to Michael Gallagher. Michael then. Side steps his man. Cutting through. Has got to be back to Dez Newton again. Dez then. Positioning himself for a kick. Good one. One to the right. The referee didn't roll penalty there. The full forward was, was fouled. You will see it again on action replay. But the ball now with Anthony Malloy then. Anthony. The one to Joyce. Joyce then. Picks it up. Loses it. On the ground. But it comes to the full back. He's fouled the ball. He picks the ball off the ground. Matt McDermott. And a free end then. For Donegal. 20 metres out. From the last goals. And Mark McHugh to take it. Up comes Martin, and he kicks it wide. Oh, well, Martin shouldn't have missed that one. Go oh, get the heads up, lad, will you? Far side this time to Joyce. Loses it, gets it again. Cutting on side, cutting on side, playing well. Joyce passes her back, doesn't? Lit, flat tackle. A lit tackle, 13 metre free. Good effort there by Joyce, good play. And so's a free in. 13 metres out there, set in front of the goals. 
as Martin McHugh, hopefully, to increase Donegal's score. 1-1 one, one for Louth, two points for Donegal. 13 minutes gone in this first half. Pat McKenna then, one of the midfielders, out to the right, into the right corner. Colin McGermott coming across for it. Come in, Jim McDonald, referee blows his whistle, and the ball's gone wide. Referee's second have been very noisy here at this stage. <laughs> the whole point's done by Pat McKenna. He He pushes in the back and it's a free then. 50 metres out from the Donegal goals, Brandon Levy to take it. Brandon to the far side, McKee going for it, or Joyce going for it, doesn't get it. It comes however to Sylvester, Sylvester McGuire. But none now, still got the ball, takes his kick. High one, and two Bonner. Paul Bonner's got it, is the net to score? Great goal, great goal for Donegal. A great goal for St. Vincent McGuire. Bonner came to lovely. He wasn't inside the small square. Up goes on first leg. And a goal then. But then a goal and the lead. One goal and two points. To Louth. 1 1. There's some kick out then. Middle of the field. Up comes Michael Gallagher then. Michael trying to get through. Loses it. Comes to Martin Shovelin. Shovel now, left for one. Corners on there. Ball back with Declan Healy. But it comes to number seven. He shoved off Joyce. Shakes off a tackle of Martin McHugh and gets the ball. But it comes to the last man, the bearded last man, and across to Ranahan. Ranahan then. Good ball in. But it comes to Martin Mc or Noel McCall. No then. Good clearance. It comes to Malloy. Comes, however, now to one to Don Reid. Don Reid, the right half back then. Show up the field. And to Bonner. Good ball to Bonner. Well collected to. Bonner is tackled. And his name goes into the book. The by, first name of the book, Matt McDermott's. Brand Needham. Was that full forward in the square for that goal? Was he? Not at all. Well, Just to get a, a neutral view on the thing there. Free kick then. Martin McHugh to take it. Calling in. Uh -huh. Anis calling over the bar. Delightful point. 15 minutes gone. 1 3 to 1 1. And favour of Donegal. Come on, take the head up now, boy. Bonner has the beaten of us full back. He also has his name in the book. Number six then, Pat Matthews playing very well as he did as he end. Done back, out to the right corner forward, John McDonald. John is fouled by Corney. And it's a free then. Noel Healy then, leaving it. Leaving it for Paul Renahan. Paul then, as I say, back after injury. Louth dearly missed their full forward, who was put off in the Dublin game. Has it a good ball across the goals. McDermott, Gunnifer, comes back to Don Levy. Don Levy then. Looking for a man up this or two. Side steps number 15, John McDonald. Or John McDonald. And clears the ball down the middle of the field. Punched on by Mark McHugh to Des Newton then. Des loses it. Des, looking for somebody to pass it to. Passes it along to Boner. Boner picks it up. He's been tackled by the fullback. Passes it across to Newton again. Newton then. Ball's cleared out over the line. And a line ball for Donegal. Donegal full forward and definitely have the beaten. Have the beaten of this. 
Los. Back lane. Free on then. Punch down by me. By number 15. There's Newton, but it's punched harmlessly wide. 1 3 to 1 1. One of the Donegal team mentors down there. Austin Coughlin. Matthews, well collected by Matthews. He's fouled by Sylvester. And a free then. 45 metres out. And he's going to leave it for Tony McCarraher. Some of the Donegal supporters there and the crowd. And Kelly Biggs. And surrounding areas. Pat Matthews in. Good kick. Glenn Wells in it. Oh, it breaks. It breaks. To the full forward. He punches it into Jim McDonald. But it's still there. Griffin gets his bit to it and clears it. Lucky escape there for Donegal. Loud powers are dangerous. McHugh then picks it up. The 84 All Star man on a solo run. Being followed by David Riley. Too good for David Riley. Punches her back to Sylvester McGuire. Sylvester then to <laughs> Michael Lafferty. Number four. Number four. David Riley. His name goes into the book. Goes into the book. A very good move. Been wrecked there by a lift tackle. David Riley's name. Into the book. Foul and Sylvester McGuire. Very, very unlucky for Michael Lafferty. As McHugh. Ball has moved forward. 43 metres out. Sylvester's okay. And McHugh then to take this fee. Going to the right, going wide. Was a free an advantage there, or was it a disadvantage? It could have took his name after the play had finished, rather than stopped play. <laughs> Jerry Farley on. Comes to number seven, Desi Callahan. Desi, block down. It comes to Matthews, Pat Matthews, or it comes to Pat Matthews now. Don't leave it then. The two centre half backs meets up. It comes to number 10, Paul McGee. Paul then, on a solo run. Low one and good ball, but Tom McDermott cutting across for it. Passes right to Michael Lafferty and Michael, all the time in the world, to settle himself and see where he's putting this ball. He puts it to Des Newton. Des then, closely marked by De Declan Hilly. Michael Lafferty then, coming on. And to Michael Gallagher. Michael then. Goals in front of him. Surrounded by the number 17. Cross to Mark Hugh. It's over too high for him. McHugh does not push in the back for David Riley. And he shoved off the ball. The clearance then. Don't leave it then. Collects it well. Passes it out to Mike Dermott. Mike Dermott. Out to. Oh no. Oh, under no pressure whatsoever. Oh, very stupid play by Tom McDermott there. No pressure whatsoever. And he puts it right over the sideline. For a line ball for Louth. Daisy Callahan then. Accepting this line ball. Dangerous one on. Griffin goes up for it. Punches it out. Comes to number 11, however. John Martin. John then. Half blocked down by Donald Reed. Boss still out there. Paul McGee shot blocked down. And that's a line ball. Good block in there. But they shouldn't, they should never have to, had come to that at all because Tommy German should have cleared that ball first time 40 seconds ago. John McDonald then. Jim McDonald is. And to the square, dangerous. Griffin goes out for it. Doesn't get it. That comes to McDermott and McDermott's bursting out. Still got the ball. Hey, he's over carried it, and is it a penalty? Couldn't be a penalty. Couldn't be a penalty. <laughs> Foul the ball is a 14 yard free. Foul the player, penalty. McDonald, number 15, Jim, has it over the bar. To narrow the gap to one point. That's 1 3 for Donegal, 1 2 for Louth, and 20 odd men has gone in this first half. <laughs> 
Knowles kick out down, middle of the field. Punch down. Knocked on, but it comes to who? Joyce, Joyce, long the ground. Kicked out by Matt McDermott. And Lafferty in there in the middle of the field. Comes to Michael Gallagher. Michael then, surrounded by four loose men. Just a long ball hand. Boner going for it. Comes through. David Riley backs it up. Punches right to Daisy Callahan. And Daisy then to Paul Renahan. Paul then against the sun and against the breeze. I feel. Ball comes, however, to the full forward line. Out to number 11, John Martin. And John stands himself back to Noel Healy. Noel takes a shot. Dangerous one on it. Comes to McCall. McCall. Loses it from Jim McDonald, but the referee was free out. And the referee gonna hop the ball. Gonna go lose a free out. Comes to Gruffin then. Come on, Gruffin. Ah, oh, Gruffin! Gruffin has pushed his hand out. And free in. He done the same in an Ulster final That's right. many moons ago. Oh, very sharp. <laughs> Going to level the scores. The goal come from stupidity, and two frees come from stupidity. <laughs> and uh, they have only scored one three at this stage. Level pegging then. One three apiece. 23 minutes gone in this first half. Anthony Malloy is playing. Anthony Malloy is playing. Yes, Noel then. Up goes Malloy. Doesn't get it. Comes to number nine, Pat McCannon. And to this fall forward lane, which is too good for Donegal at the moment. Paul McGee then. Takes a shot. Goes to the left. Still on play. Still on play. McCall has to come out. No all clearance then. To do on read. Doesn't come to comes to Paul Renahan. Pat McConnell now. Number 12. He's overcarried the ball as Kevin O'Hanlon. Kevin who came on as a sub at last. On the side today. Overcarries the ball. 45 metre free kick for Donegal. And Don't Reid is going to take it. Mark McEwen doesn't get it. David Riley does. Sons in the rise. Reid then. McDermott comes off his knees, comes off his chest. Luckily, comes to Dolan Reid. Dolan then passes right to Michael Lafferty. And Michael then. Let tackle. Let tackle. Let tackle. Oh. Referee then. Forge a free. Let tackle Michael Lafferty. By the midfielder, Michael will look after him after a while, no problems. Him steps as narrow as you go up to the dressing rooms. Be cute then. Up, high, to the left. Still in play. Did it hit the post? Yes. Hit the post. Comes to Des Newton then. Des cutting on. Loses her. Punch her out. Scoops her out. Michael Gallagher and Michael then. Trying to cut on. Hit her across, Michael, please. Gets her to Newton. Newton. Out. To Malloy. Malloy is going to what? Center low. Points. Points. We want points. Why could they not score a point from 13 meters out? John McDonald then. Out to the number six, Matthews. Matthews being confronted by Michael Lafferty. Back to Paul Renahan and Paul puts it on the goal defence under pressure again. Paul McGee then. In to McDermott. McDermott, first time, sir, out of the line, and it's a line ball. Jesus, boys. We're having a good team, boys. Hey? Two bad teams. Two bad teams. Right on hand then. Keep doing that. Dangerous one across square. The ball's in with McCall. 
very nearly in the net, but come, no McCola has covered. Desi Callahan then. Desi. Still got the ball. High one on again. Don't leave it or make a Lafferty going for it. Trying to get out. He's fouled as he's coming out. Come on out, boys, and open it up. And a free out for Donegal. Coming here at half time now. Still one three piece. And the sun will be in the Donegal's eyes, defender's eyes, in the second half. Pat McConnell now, feels it cleanly. Gets a kick in. Paul comes to Michael, or Brandon Levy. Brandon, out to Shovelin. Shovelin does it, get it? He does. On his own now, coming on a score run. And he hits it. And to Boner. Boner in the full back. Ball breaks. It comes to Newton. Low. Good pass there from into Boner from Newton. Boner cutting through. Takes a shot. Kicks it to the left. And kicks it wide. <laughs> Parry Geller in the side for Donegal. And there's Newton. Has gone on left half back and Martin Shovelin been taken off. Number seven, Martin Shovelin been taken off. And there's Newton going back to half backs and Parry Gallagher, number 21, and the running all side. What? It's a ball then with Donald Reid. Donald then. Out to McHugh then. McHugh cutting on. Beating David Riley. The ball's on the ground, however. Ball's going to the line and it's a line ball. For Donegal. The cue then. 13 metres out. Push it to the right. And he kicks it wide. Nobody got a chance for that one. Conditions heavy out there today. Heavy going after the frost and the slight thaw. So. Still, the ball the same way. McConnell. I go for the ball. Cleared up the field by Tony McFarrer. Don't read then. But it comes to Dunleavy. Dunleavy then, under pressure. And John Burton gets it to Anthony Malloy then. Anthony on the far side. Cuts it in. Ah, oh, shot blocked down. Middle of the field. Well caught and held by Kevin O'Hanlon then. Kevin. High one on. Griffin going for it. Punched out to Tommy McDermott. Tommy on. Cutting across. Tommy Stearns. But it comes to, to Pat McConnell. Pat Matthews. And now. 23. Noel Healy in. On the ball. Cuts across. Tommy McDermott clears it. Joyce going for it. But it comes to Michael Gallagher. Michael then. On a solo run. Going down the field, he's 45 metres out, he's 40, he's 30, he's 20, 20, and he kicks it to the right, and he kicks it wide. So, referee John Goff goes his whistle for half time, the score at half time, there's Donegal 1 3, Louth 1 3. We're going to have a few end round summaries now, but before that, we'll just show you some of the spectators who have travelled up here from Donegal to see what they hope that they will get into, stay in Division 2 in 1985. Gentlemen, Brandon Needham, Frank Cohey, will they at this stage half time? Well, they're on there with a shout, don't we, Sean? It was a very scrappy match up to this. But uh, if they keep playing and, and maybe put a wee bit more determination, I think I can do it now no, in the no, second half. Well, sort of um, so far as, as, uh, as getting scores from 13 metres out, for instance. Yeah. The Malloy, for instance, in that first half. Martin McHugh, two frees. That's right. Seamus Bonner, 
the finish up there? The forward line isn't playing all that well now at the moment. The um, shooting is terrible. The sh shooting is bad, especially from freeze. Now Martin McHugh there had two chances or two frees like which he, sh which he usually takes and he missed them, you know. You can't miss scores like that in the day. Just um, noticeable that Lyther going into the dressing rooms and Donny Gall or not. Any particular reason for that? Would you have any idea? No, no, thank you, no. I have no points. <laughs> no, but seriously, I mean, they're staying out. Is it because they want to get themselves accustomed to the second half? Oh, yeah, I'd say so. Yes, thanks. Brent's very helpful here today, I must say. There he is now. This is the man we're speaking to. The side of the Rufford Club. Break that day. Your comments. I think we took off the wrong man there. Shovelin. I think so. Who should you take off? Further back in the same line, that's all I'm saying. I think uh, Shovelin was doing not so bad, though he gave away a point. But if you wait, Henley? Oh, well, I didn't see the penalty, we were later coming. We were just checking to make sure that the team was playing as selected when it was scored. No, but they're going to throw it away. They are. They are definitely going to throw it away. They're going to kick it away. Missed an awful lot of chances. Martin McHugh's badly off for him today, too. He's freeze, isn't he? The pitch is heavy, is it? They're not putting yeah, the same effort up there today, they? They didn't. Uh, yeah, but no, but the point is, that's the idea. This is the thing I would like to I would see. I would like to ask the, the uh, video man, how's his nose now? How's he feeling? He's okay. It wasn't a nose. It was a nose. It was a nose. It was a slip. A slip job. Slip. He's a slip. He's a slip. He's a slip. He wouldn't be concerned about that now. Yeah, <laughs> Some members of the Lover J Club wouldn't be concerned about that. Due to their age. I'll get back to the game, but. <laughs> Wexford were not as good a team as Louth. Wexford were pathetic. And Louth are a lot better tight, aren't they? Well, Louth are physical too, do you know? But their forwards are very fluid. They're bitten up the ball all the time too, so the same as they've done in Louth. And number 10... The only goal fall back line to me looks very weak, with the exceptions of Tommy McDermott. Okay. Any changes you want to see in the second half? No, I would bring on Shovel now, I think. You know, I think it's silly taking him off. I think Courtney well, Carr's getting a bit of a run around there now. There's a lot of damage coming from... You know, I think uh, Shovelin's game suffered from the fact that he had to cover back, you know. Okay, Desi, thank you very much. I'm not just the best at talking about it. You're not, Desi. He's yeah. off the cigarettes and he's on the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> That's a surprise. Pardon me, Bernie. Well, I'll tell you what it does. Well, you Bad Wooly! Bad, make it heavy, wasn't it? Okay then, folks, we're back again for the second half. One three apiece. Referee John Duff. Ready to start the game. In these last 30 minutes for survival, for their life, for the ball. And she goes in. Ball breaks. Pat McConnell doesn't get it, comes to Michael Laverty. First time's around the ground. To Perry Gallagher, first touch of the ball. Perry passes right to Michael Gallagher. Michael then. It's a shot. Going to the left. Going to the right. Going straight. And it's, no, it's not. It's gone wide. I thought she was going over. But she went to the right and went wide. Kick out then for Louth. Come on, keep her on there now, boys. Come on, boys. Jerry Farrell, take it. Keep it effort there, boys. Come on. Ball comes to Pat Matthews. Pat then. Kicks it in. Tommy Dermott going for it. Hot breaks. It comes to Corny Carr. Corny then. Gets his clearance. It comes to the last man. Number nine, Pat McKenna. And Pat. Kick comes to Corny. Corny then. Corny Gallagher doesn't get it. It comes over to Paul McGee then. Paul. Low one. And to Johnny McDonald. Johnny is fouled. 
He's fouled. 43 metres out. From the Donegal goals. And Paul Renahan to take it. John McDonald, the most dangerous forward that last half. Giving Cornicare a tough time. Up comes the free then. Curse it in. Curse it over the bar. The lead for life. Three minutes gone. Second half. 1 4. To the Nagals, 1 3. Paul Renahan scores that point. As Noel McCall takes a kick out. Caught and held by Pat McConnell at the second attempt. To Tony McCarraher. Tony's high one to Griffin. And Noel Hilly. Hilly gets it. Passes right to John McDonald. Johnny on. Culture on, but not on enough. And the ball goes wide. Come on, boys, I'm waking up, bad boys. Come on. Tony McCarrer kicks the ball out over the line. That's a line ball for Donegal. Corny Carr then. What's the line ball? Any goal followers not going for it at all. Comes to Paul Renahan. Paul Stearns to John McDonald. Punch down. But it comes over to Paul McGee. Paul then left for it. High one on. McDermott going for it. Ball breaks. It comes to the full forward Noel Hilly and he kicks it away bar. Well taken point by number 23. Noel Hilly brought into the game just before the start. 1 5 then for Louth. 1 3 for Donegal. And Donegal. Very, very low stage of this stage. Not lifting at all as the referee calls for attention for Brenton Dunleavy. Brenton's got a facial injury. Brian McEnough is coming to have a look at it. Keir McCready is there as well. Five minutes gone then, the second half. Then they all not playing the same football as they played against Wexford. A few moments in the second, first half they did after they got the goal. The ball then with Desi Callahan, Desi left for it into Tom McDermott's position. Ball breaks. To Kevin O'Hanlon. Kevin punches her along the ground. Doesn't go to nobody except Don Levy. Don Levy picks it up. Kicks the ball. That's side of the field. Don Reid going for it. And Don getting it. In front of the McDonald. Don kicks the ball. Locked down. Comes to the last man. That's going to go to the line. Don Egal ball. Come on, lads. Jesse Callahan thought it was for him. Don Reid then, what's the line ball? Just down below us here. Come on, Donegal! Against the sun. Cuts into the middle. Malloy going for it. Comes over to Malloy again. Malloy gets it, passes her back to Lafferty. Lafferty caught off balance. Ball's cleared. Don't leave picks it up. Don't leave it then. Cutting out this side, near the sideline. Gets his kick in, however. But it comes to one of the backs, number six, Matthews. He loses it. Michael Geller picks it up, being tackled by number 11, John Martin, and to Joyce, Joyce then, solo on through, cutting on side, punches her in, to McHugh, McHugh doesn't get it, it comes over to like fullback, and he runs out to pick it up, says up McHugh, and gets a steer, it's not a good one, Ranahan going for it, Ranahan getting it, I get up for it. Ranahan playing very well again, out to Pat McConn, his partner at midfield, and Pat, there's the ball down the field. Comes to Kevin O'Hanlon. Kevin, high one. Out to the open space. There's Newton going for it. Back in his normal position. 
They're almost normal. He's back at left half back. Good clearance. Middle of the field. But it's come out. Nobody here. And it's gone out over the line. And a line ball for Louth. Halfway line. Jesse Callahan in. What's the kick? Same side. McDermott going for it. Punched down by Tommy. Two, Dolan and Reid. Dolan trying to burst out past Kevin Hanlon. Shot blocked down. Michael Lafferty there. Michael has fouled. Free then. 50 metres out from the Donegal goals. And Dolan Reid. Two. Take it. Alive going up for it. Doesn't get it. Pat McConnell bursting out. Playing strong stuff. Ranahan got it. Ranahan then. Gets his clearance. Over to Paul McGee. Ball breaks. John McDonald going for it. Goes back to Paul McGee. Paul then. Left for it. McDermott cuts it out. And this is the reception. Out to Malloy. Malloy gets it. Under pressure. From number seven. First one on there. Referee blows his whistle. And the referee calls back the play. Going to take a name of number seven, Desi Callahan. Her putting on with a fist. And John Goff bring the ball back for this free kick. Three loud men in the books. No Donegal men in the book. Not too sure. Maybe she missed one of them in the book. Well, on, then. Doesn't hold it this time either. Ball on the ground. Party Gallagher. Passes right to Michael Lafferty. Michael then. Or Anthony Malloy rather. Anthony. And to Michael Lafferty now. Michael then. Putting on side. Take the shot. As it sits. Let's open the bar. A lovely point. Michael Lafferty. Good play. On the far side there. By Anthony Malloy. And now is the gap to one point. One five for Louth. One four for Donegal. Ten. Nine minutes gone. In this first half. Jerry Farland, this is a kick out. Ball punched down one hand by Anthony Malloy. Breaks two all hit to Tony McCarraher. Tony then. Out to the far side. Jeremy McDonald going for it. Punch it on. Go down to pick it up. And it's been knocked out over the end line for a 45 by Corny Carr. One would feel that maybe there should be a switch in this Donegal team in that defence. Possibly bringing back Des Newton and the what Danger Man. Run on then. What's the line? What's the 45? Curls it in. Carr going for it. Doesn't get it. It comes, however. To Newton. Newton, this side of the field. Into the open space. Going out over the sideline. And that's a line ball for life. Halfway line then. David Riley. Neef and Bar take it. Ball breaks to McDonald. On the ground. Comes to John Martin. John across. To Paul Ranahan. Paul takes his kick. High one, curling in. That's curling in. Griffin being shoved there, but he gets the ball. Clears it to the center of the field. McHugh there going for it. Ball breaks. McHugh's got it. After he blows his whistle, and it's going to bounce the ball. Free, he's a feed of McHugh. Very lucky. To get that free. And don't read down to take this free kick. And to McHugh. Free, free. Push in the back. Don't raise them. Setting it on tough. Quite starting to up now in this last quarter. Almost the last quarter as Reid takes the kick. Burns the right. 
Bonner's on there, so is number 17, Tony McCarraher. And Tony Key clears the ball. Getting up there. It's Paul McGee. McGee gets it. Gets the clearance. And to Kevin O'Hanlon. Ball doesn't run kindly for him. Passes right, good. Pass there to Jim McDonald. Jim. To Griffin. Nice little touch by Martin Griffin. Passes right to Michael Lafferty. The McCoo's man teaming up here. Michael Lafferty then bursting through. Passes across to Sylvester. Sylvester then. High one. Going to the left. Still on play, however. The ball breaks. It's one of the goal man's got it. He's in the square. He's been tackled by number 13. The Seamus Boner does. Kicks her in. Ha! Oh, God, save us and bless us. He kicks it wide. He could have passed it right. Thirteen minutes gone in the second half. One point between them. Jerry Farland taking the kick out. Ball breaks. Comes to number 10, Paul McGee. Paul. Into the middle. Griffin punches it out. Comes to McDermott. Tommy then. Left footed. Playing better today, Tommy. And he's on his own. That's the number two. And he passes right to Pat Tony McCarraher. Tony then. To Jenna McDonald. Or Jim McDonald. Corny Carr then. Packs up the ball. But he kicks it in to Declan Healy. Declan. To John Martin. John then. All out the stage. To Noel Healy. That's her cross to number 10, Paul McGee. Paul McGee doesn't get it. Punched out over the end line for a 45 by Donald Reed. Renahan then, Paul Renahan, number eight, to take this 45. Scoreable position. Going to the right, still in play, however. Punched in by Corny Carr, comes to Dez Newton. Dez then, clears the ball up to the far side, it comes to Pat Matthews. Pat then. Setting himself. Cuts it on to the danger area. Griffin got up for it. Doesn't get it. Cleared out by Corny Carr. Out to Michael Lafferty. Michael then. Up the field. Oh, your man's having a field day up there. Dale Hilly is having a field day. Punched down by Des Newton. Ball comes to Des again. Des out to the side. Changing the wings. Donald Reid down. Donald then. Tackled by Jimmy McDonald. Still got the ball. He's overcarried it. According to John Goff. Sub on the Donegal team. Eunan Gallagher coming on. And who is going off? Party Carr away. Freeze taken in. Pat Matthews in. Centre half back. High one. Tom McDermott then, playing well. Clears the ball out to the side of the field. Anthony Malloy and Anthony. All alone. Well, comes to Boner. Doesn't get it, however. Still battling for it. Comes now to Joyce. Boner's down injured. Gets it across. McHugh going for it. Well, still with McHugh. He's got it. Team tackled by number four. Puts it across, too high, dangerous suicide pass. Sylvester going for ball breaks. Third to Anthony Malloy. Anthony been tackled by Kevin O'Hanlon. Oh, God! Number 10. This fouled by Sylvester McGuire. And Sylvester's name goes into the book. Sub so on the last team as well. Hey! Number 15 has gone off, Jimmy McDonald, and coming on. I'll tell you about him in a moment. I say Eunan Gallagher on the side, 
Centre half forward for Donegal. Number 20 is on for life. And he is Tony Mulroy. Tommy Dermodan. Here comes to Mulroy. First touch of the ball. Just in the game to Johnny McDonald. Johnny then. A blonde haired Johnny. Gets his kick in. Going to the right. And it's gone wide. One point in it then. And the last quarter then. Still one point behind. Martin Griffin, midfield. Anthony Malloy, full back. Come on, Griffin. Come on, Martin. Put it up there. McCall then. What's the kick out? Lafferty. Loses it. Punched. It comes, however. To John Martin. John then. Out to the side of the field. McGowan going for it. Bounces for him nicely. Passes right to Ewan Gallagher. Does he get it? Ewan gets it. Passes right to Joyce. Joyce then. Side steps his man beautifully. And the second one. And still got that ball. Referee blows his whistle. Left tackle there by Paul Ranahan on Joyce McMullen. 45 metres out then. 47. Martin McHugh coming back to take it. Oh, Joyce McMullen takes a stupid free. And it kicks into the hands of the life man. Johnny McDonald then. Pushed in the back. Corny Carr gets away with it. Out to Unan Natch. Unan then. Unan then. What's the ball? To Martin. Martin trying to get on. He's tackled by two lost men. He's still got the ball. Passes across to Michael Gallagher. Michael then. 40 metres out. Gets his right footed one on. Up goes the full back. Comes up his fingers. That comes to Seamus Bonner. Bonner is tackled. Bonner is fouled. The referee doesn't blow. The referee doesn't blow. Don't leave her then. McDonald, the referee blows stupid, small, simple things. He doesn't blow penalties. John Martin then. Ball with number 20. Tony Mulroy. Tony takes his kick in. Dangerous one. Ah, oh, Jesus, Marianne Joseph. He touched the ball on the ground. The full forward touched the ball on the ground. The referee didn't blow. And an awful mistake by Noel McCall. An awful mistake by the referee. An awful mistake by Noel McCall. The result, the end result is that Donegal are now trailing by four points. 2-5, 2-1-4. And that goal came 20 minutes into the second half. And things do not look good now for Donegal. Hey. And an awful mistake by an awful mistake by the referee as well. Because that full forward touched the ball on the ground. Seamus Bonner was fouled in the square at the other end. He didn't blow a penalty. But having said all that, we're not we are not playing we are not playing well. The goalkeeper is coming off. Gary Walsh coming on. The three subs for Donegal are now used. Noel McCall injured in that attempt. And we are we are on our bare feet at this stage. Gary Wilson, winner and captain of the university side that won the Division 2 championship last week. And goals now as Dunleavy gets that ball up to the fullback. Pushing the back. The referee is trying to be nice. The referee is trying to be nice. To Donegal all that stage because that was no free as against Boners. McHugh then. Four points behind. To the right. And that's gone over. It's gone over the bar. One goal between them then. Ten minutes left. Pardon? Did it? 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 Did it
Griffin on the ground for foul, halfway line. Get it in there, Nigel! Come on, get it Come on! Lois men now becoming very ratty here. John Levy then, making sure the ball's placed in the right position. Jerry Furls down to the back of the nets. Kick then, dangerous one. Who goes for it? Boner gets it up. The big strong number 14. Push it across. Doesn't go across enough, but. Two last men going for it. It comes to Donny Goldman. Martin McKee. Martin and trying to get on. Trying to make sure. Takes a shot. Is it over? Yes, it's over. Two points. <laughs> Two points to draft. <laughs> Two five. Two one six. Ten minutes left, less than ten, nine. Jerry Farland. We're two points behind. Punched on. Two last men going for it. Number 17, Tony McCarraher. Shot blocked down by Michael Gallagher. Michael picks it up. Long one. And two boner. Boner's on there. Comes to number two, David Declan Healy. Declan Stearns. It's not a good one. It goes out over the sideline, and that's a line ball for Donegal. Josh McWall then running back to get, take this. It's Martin McHugh running back to take this line ball. Up comes Martin now. What's your run? Two punches on and a save by Jerry Furl. Griffin then, go out for it. Trying to get on. Who won? And it's a border, but still in it. And Trent Cole. And Michael Uppers jumping with joy in the first set of the field. Any goals can come to come alive. Great goal. Then. Great goal by Shippers Bonner. Great play by Martin Griffin. And we're ahead by one point. Two six to two five. And five minutes left. Keep right then. Punch to one. Referee blows his whistle. Up on somebody's back. Free then for life. Middle of the field. They most keep the head as Packy Kinney says, the most play their usual football. Ball then with Newton, Newton then. One of the cool customers on this side. Ball comes to one of the backs, he clears it. It comes to Paul McGee then, Paul then, looking for his man, gets it. Out to the other man, number seven, Desi Callahan. Desi shuts block down. Ball comes to... Michael Lafferty, right, Michael's clear, Michael clears the button, ball in hand, to Paul McGee, Paul McGee then, or not Paul McGee, number 20, the boy who come on the sub, comes there to Unan Natch, Unan, sensible ball, to Don Reid, Don then, out to Sylvester, get it up Sylvester, Sylvester's got it, and he's cutting in now, still got the ball, he's tackled by Desi Callahan, going through now, Don Reid on stupid, passes her back to McHugh, McHugh then, takes a shot, high one, go to the left, still in play, and that's gone wide, Hard luck there. Come on, run again, Noida! Turn again! Come on! Ball then. Tony Carraher. Referee blows his whistle and wants a free retake. Last five minutes. Very painful five minutes. Middle of the field. Comes to Lafferty. Doesn't come to Lafferty. Referee blows his whistle. Referee then, throwing up the ball. Comes to Pat McConnell. Pat then, gets his clearance. Punched out. Comes to... To Michael Lafferty then. Tense moments at this stage, very tense. Boner, go for it, doesn't get it. Comes to the full back. Matt McDermott, Matt. Right for a clearance. Oh, to the on mark, John Martin. And John Martin bounces and he doesn't, it doesn't come up for him again. He gets it to the second attempt. Paul Ranahan then. It's fouled. For Michael Lafferty. Quick free then. Pat Matthews. Referee takes the name for Michael Lafferty. And Ranahan's down injured. Coming very near full time now. We have extra time here today. Up us a draw.
Run on and receive the attention. Seems to be okay. Dangerous, eh? He did. Run on him. Making sure. Cuts it on. Cuts it high. Ball breaks. Who's it come to? The ball's on there. It's going on the goal. The defender gets it. And it's Griffin. Back again. Punched out. To Des Newton. Des it there to. Joyce McCollum, which turns are good save by Martin Griffin. Very happy with his performance today. Low one on to McHugh. McHugh's got it now. Good for a free here at this stage. Out to Lafferty. Lafferty then. On the loose. Getting it up. Bounces her. Tackled by number two. Still got the ball. Punches right to Michael Gallagher. Michael then. Steadies himself. High one. To the right. And it's gone wide. Michael had a good game and... Wexford are against Wexford. Not playing too bad today, but Zill hasn't got his name on the score sheet as far as I remember. Jerry Farland, kick out, middle of the field, we're leading by a point. That comes to McHugh, McHugh then, cutting it into the corner, wasting good, valuable time. Still got the ball, two men beside him. Passes her back to Don Reid, Donald takes a shot, and kicks it wide. Normal time is now up. Two minutes left. Somebody says two minutes left. Watch, maybe it's gone fast. Come on, last half hour. <laughs> Jerry Farrell then. Punched on. Comes to Natch. Now to Lafferty. Lafferty in front of the goals. And he kicks it wide. He kicks it wide. Keep possession, keep the ball up there. Last few moments. John Goff. Not looking at his watch yet. Rafferty. Rafferty's got a free. 45 metres out. This is the one. This is Martin McHugh's most important free kick. 44. Four to go, man. Wishing them luck. <laughs> Martin Griffin back at midfield. McHugh then. Setting her up. This is the one to stay in Division 2. This is the one to stay in Division 2. Up he comes. Cutting in. That's gone to the right. Oh, and that's gone wide. Still danger, still danger. Referee looking at it. We are, we are, we are waiting on a referee's final whistle. We're waiting on a referee's final whistle. It hasn't come yet. Comes to the man. Danny Goldman's got it. Comes out. Come on, boys. Get it up. One ace. Sylvester. Two. Union. To Michael, to Sylvester. Sylvester's high one. The keeper, keeper gets it. Referee blows his whistle. A let free. A let tackle. Shake hands. All is well. Referee blows his, doesn't blow his whistle. Oh, Griffin, get it. Please. Gets it clear. Long rip. Come on, boys. Somebody go for it. Keep it up anywhere at all. Get her up there. Keep her up there. That is the idea. Wall it with a full back. Fall down, Seamus Boner pulls it. Boner's going to be put off. He's going to be put off. Seamus Boner. Second, second. No, he doesn't. Referee's been nice to him. Referee out, out to number two, Declan Healy. Hand the ball. With Des Newton. Right, boys. We're going to get a point this time. High. Straight. Over the bar. The right point from Des Newton. Michael Lafferty, the Cooper congratulates him. Great score. One of the surest. One of the surest players in this side. Referee John Goff. Rose's whistle. 
and we have stayed in Division 2 after an hour's observing tough going when things didn't go well, things went well for the lesser part of that game than they went well for the, for the bigger part of it. Brendan Needham is now able, game. Now scrappy now scrappy able to speak. A scrappy game, but still they won it. They should have won by five points. They should have won by five points. Five points. They should. Yeah, they lost three points there in the last four. Okay, we're up, we're up, for up for another year. It was nick and go around the Christmas time after losing to uh, Ross Common and Offaly. Games we shouldn't have lost. And then losing to Louth, another game we shouldn't have lost. We shouldn't have to play this game here today at all. But however, we had to play it. We won it, as I say, after tough, dour struggle. Louth, no, no bad side. A lot better than Wexford. And so, as I say, the score, 2-7 to 2-5. As we leave you now from St. Tyrannus Park, Clonus, thank you very much for being with us during the season. And we will hope to be back in the 1985-86 season when we have a new coverage for you then with new teams as well. What's their great thing about what's the father's done? Wasn't it? Nice to give us a thing on that. Huh? Can you go on the back to the boat up there? I don't know what it was. I'm more than now, Danny. What the end? I know he was with the main thing. Did Bonner win that match from the day? What? He was an awful lonely figure at times. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I decided for some of that thing if you want to do it. No, I was going to say for a little bit of that. It's the experience again, bro. Huh? It's the experience of Jimmy Fuller. Fair picture, we didn't do bad now. Yeah. Fuck all right, we didn't see him in the league. Not at all, no way. Oh, I got two goals, didn't he? Yeah, two goals. And he could have got a penalty. And then when he, when they... You see this point down here, but this this second goal of theirs was a handball on the ground. Oh, yeah. He got thrown away his hand on the ground. But now there was a lack. Uh, they, need a, a thing, they had to get a break because... Yeah, they had to get a break because... Yeah, just body, I don't think I could come back at all there. Everything was against them. But now, as if you're a new to look at that down there, mm. it was an awful mistake somewhere. Oh, oh, oh no. Right. You'd say, look at the 2-7-2-5, you say, that was a tight game, a good game. But it really wasn't.